Are these Oreo flavors Oreo or Ori no? Deep within a hood of a sweatshirt, two brothers stumbled upon a portal that unlocked the gate of awesomeness, unleashing the power of the sun and magical laser kittens, which all trickled down to the creation of the Brotherhood! Welcome to the Brotherhood! Yeah, we welcome you back, where today we are going to be creating some very strange Oreo flavors. Now, in case you haven't been to the store lately and you haven't been looking at your Oreos, Oreo has pretty much run out of ideas. They are literally so desperate for ideas that they created a cookies and cream flavored Oreo, which is basically just an Oreo flavored Oreo. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. Yeah, so we have created a bunch of unique Oreo flavors that we are going to share with you, maybe even give a little spark of inspiration for Oreo for some creative little ideas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our chef come on out. Chef, how about you come on out? We have our, um, we have our little personal chef here. She's gonna bring out our... Bonjour. Yes, bonjour. She's gonna bring out our Oreo flavors on her Oreo platter and we're gonna taste whatever she brings out. So are you ready? I think so. All right, it's time for the Bizarre Oreo Taste Test Challenge. Our first Oreo flavor that we are gonna try is butter. Let's, Let's eat, eat it. it. All right, here's our chef. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, all right. Okay. So as you can see here, why don't you take one? We have our, now this kind of looks like a actual Oreo, but if we pull it apart, you will see that it's not. It's actually a slimy, buttery goodness that we are about to eat. Let's see how much this tastes like an actual Oreo. I, I Looks can be deceiving, butter. so who knows what it'll taste like. All right, ready? Three, two, one. It doesn't seem like it would be that bad, but my eyes are watering, oh. so it's bad. Mm. It's got that tangy butter flavor to it. <laughs> that might be better as an actual Oreo frosting, because oh. this is just oh. butter. Oh, whenever I bake a bite, it's horrible. I can't even talk. All right, well, oh. should this be an Oreo flavor? Eh, no, 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 not a good Oreo flavor. All right, up next, we have the pizza Oreo. Let's eat it. All right, come on in, chef. Bon appetit. It's a spicy. Oh, it's a spicy. All right. Dang it. Here we go. Let's take a look. Basically, what this is is a pizza that we baked onto an Oreo cookie instead of using a pizza bread. Mine is, is just a little pe personal pepperoni Oreo pizza. Yours is just cheese pizza. Just cheese. All right, you ready to try this? No. All right, well, we're going to do it anyway. This one, this, one, this one can't be too bad. It's just a pizza. I'm going to gag. It's soft. The Oreo <laughs> turns soft. All right, ready? I, I hate Three, two, one. Pepperoni. The pepperoni. <coughs> it's okay. Let me say this. If if Oreo makes this an actual Oreo cookie, it would be good because the cookie the cookie flavor, it has a flavor that just doesn't match pizza crust. If they make a pizza crust flavored Oreo cookie and then make a pizza flavored frosting, this has potential. This could yes. be good. So you know what I'm gonna say? It was bad, but I'm gonna say yes. I just swallowed, They should make so this a, a, an Oreo. I what do you say? So yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Oreo, you should make a pizza Oreo. The next Oreo that we are gonna do is the Twinkie Oreo. Let's eat it. All right, chef, come on out. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right. Yeah. Okay, this one cannot really go wrong. This is like a little yeah. break saver for us. I mean, it's literally a Twinkie with cookie in it. If I enjoyed the last one, which I did, I swallowed it, <laughs> I think I will enjoy this, this one. This one, this one cannot go wrong. Three, 
two, one. Oreo and Hostess need to get together and create this. They just go together so well. They were made for each other. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going back in for another bite. This is the first one I didn't gag on. <laughs> All right, well, do you, do you think they should make this an Oreo? Mm -hmm. I agree, yes. We live in America. America, we love burgers. So, we have the Cheeseburger Oreo. Let's eat it. All right, chef, come on. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> They're slidey. They're, that's why they call them sliders. Bon appetit. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Here we go. Okay, we got our hey. cheeseburger here. All it is is just an Oreo cookie with ham with uh, ground beef on it and melted cheese. I'm super nervous for this one now, actually, because I had high hopes for the pizza. Did not taste very good. Can't have a burger without ketchup. Yeah. Um, you might want to shake it up. And I don't like cheeseburgers, so... I don't know why. They're so good. This is you gonna like, be real... You, you like it without the cheese, though, right? Yes. I just like... No, no! Whoa, <laughs> you got a little bit on the pan. We can wash that. That's okay. Do the dishes. Three, two, one. Wait, wait. can I eat it over this? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> wait. <coughs> wait. <coughs> wait. Wait. Just wait. No. No. Wait, it's actually pretty good. If you take out the ketchup and you eat it warm. I had ketchup in it. Oh. Okay, no, no, you take another bite. No. You still have the flavor in your mouth. Yeah. Imagine no ketchup. That's good. It's actually pretty good with no ketchup. I can't admit. Oh. I can't get it down with hot water. I need water. No ketchup. Yeah. I think it's a pr I think it's a pretty good combination. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go with, yes, Oreo, you should make this. I'm going to go with, without the cheese. Next, we are going to do paper Oreos. Let's, Let's eat, eat it. All right, chef, bring us the paper Oreos. I call them with a little paper. All right. Thanks, Jeff. There we go. So basically what we have there, oh, oh. oh, they're falling apart. Oh. We might have to say no for this reason already, unless it actually surprisingly tastes good. We have basically just an Oreo cookie. Um, it's held together by a little yeah. smidget of the Oreos frosting and just to kind of keep the paper in place, but it's really not doing so no. well. It's pretty slidey. Three, two, two. one. I didn't even rip the paper because I can't. But I got the paper taste in my mouth. Not that bad. I got... <coughs> Come on, we gotta take a bite of actual paper. I'm trying. Come on, three. No, 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 go like this. I got... Got it? Ah, yeah. There you go. Mm -mm. Oreo, no, no Oreo. Don't do it. I got paper. I say no Oreo to this Oreo. Oh, me too. Time to say cheese, because hopefully we smile with this next one. We're about to eat mac and cheese Oreos. Let's eat it! Alright, chef. Let's see. Ooh. See the cheese. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I, I, I don't know which one. I still got the paper flavor in my mouth. I'm going to wash it out. It's cold. Okay, well... <laughs> You know what? When they're when they are when they really create cold. this into an actual Oreo, it's gonna be in a package. You're gonna buy it from the Walmart, wherever you or wherever you buy it. You're gonna eat it the way it is, yeah. and it's not gonna be warm. Ready? <sighs> it's gonna be Three, two, one. It's not bad. It's not. It's not good. It's not bad. The, once again, no, now I'm getting into it. Once again, the cookie top does not agree with the cheese. Yeah. But it's one of actually the most mild cookies we've eaten so far. It, it doesn't really have like a strong flavor. Nothing's too strong in this. They don't complement each other. That's the big thing. 
So because of that reason, I'm I'm gonna have to give it a no. I'm gonna have to say a no. So we couldn't find Dory for this show, so we found some tuna. We're gonna do tuna orange. Three, two, one.